Lakewood, Colorado, Thunder Valley Motocross Track. Since coming to the U.S. in 2012, Ken Roxon has managed to be on the podium at this round any time he has entered the race. Suck, goose! <laughs> it's rooster, asshole. <laughs> Main line and jump faces are okay, but like outside of that is sloppy. What do you think about that rear tire? What do you, what you feeling? Yeah, let's put that thing on. You want to put it on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got 11 minutes to we're on track. My shots clean. No, Toro said, if Jordan thinks me runs better, start me. No, I want to. I want to know what the data says. <laughs> yeah, he says they're the both okay. He goes. He says for both guys. He wants them to ride both in the first practice if we can. What's the difference in them? Just so I know. Like this, uh, that's going to be tough to change it middle of first session. Always tough. Yeah, if it, if we were on our normal schedule, I would stick with the other tire. With just two time qualifying sessions prior to racing, methodical decisions for bike setup must be made instinctually and new sections of the track learned within the first two laps of the day. Not much time to paddy kick. motocross fan base is a different breed. They gather around their favorite rider's truck while the pits are open in hopes of a quick glimpse of these gladiators. Oh, he's just really nice in person. And he's been my favorite rider since I got a dirt bike. I think that if he wrecks like he never gives up. Gate pick. Every detail is examined to make or break arguably the most important part of your race. The start. Riders dissect options with precision, leaving no risk in their final choice. Check those two out. I kind of like how it's a which, little loose. Which one? It might be a little moisture. And it's which two? Left of all that mud. Those two? Yeah. Check them out real quick. I'm worried about that mud, so I want to stay on this side. Yeah, Kenny, let's get in this thing and save it. Let's hook it up real quick. Make sure that I'm lined up good. What's that? Right there, way better. Fuck yeah. All right, buddy, let's take some deep breaths, okay? Let's get in this moment. Between Moto 1 and 2 becomes a mad dash. Oh, dude, I almost crashed before the finish line again. Be good, just get recovered. We'll make it happen, alright? TV broadcast interviews, mechanic bike prep for second moto, and recovery all jam into a 30 minute time slot. Returning back to the line as the 250 race concludes, ready for another battle of man and machine.
after a hard fight to keep Tomac behind him at all costs, with the overall on the line, Kenny pushed all moto long to keep Sexton in his sights. A last lap mistake made by Chase would allow Roxton back by to take the second moto victory and the overall. Proving once again, it's not over till it's over. Ah, the champagne always tastes a bit sweeter when it comes out of that number one bottle.